Next on Weatherscope, heavy rains create flooding disasters in Pennsylvania and Maryland, while Tropical Storm Arthur spins thunderstorms into the Carolinas. Those stories plus in-depth forecasts and analysis in this special edition of Weatherscope. And a good day to you. Thanks for tuning to the Weather Channel. Janine Diadamo, Jim Cantor here to cover not only the tropical system working its way up the East Coast, but Janine, tremendous rainfall from Indianapolis all the way to the Eastern Seaboard. That's right. I have a feeling we're going to be talking about flooding for several days to come with a very slow moving upper level system. We'll show you that in a moment. But first of all, this system brought heavy rain to northern Indiana yesterday and that caused some flooding problems. We take you now to South Bend, where you got more than an inch and a half of rain. And some parts of northern Indiana got up to four inches. The state could get more rain today, and the flooding continues. As a matter of fact, we do have a flash flood warning in effect until the top of the hour in Marion County, Indiana. That's where Indianapolis is. Lots of flooding to talk about. Let's show you who is the culprit. There's our area of low pressure, upper level low, Sunday and two, through Tuesday. Working its way eastward, it's been a slow mover, and you know what that happens. If it's a slow mover, it means it's dumping rain in the same areas over a long period of time. Because through Wednesday and through Friday, we're going to be talking about the same areas, a big rain shield throughout the Atlantic seaboard. That's going to mean the threat of flooding. Very dangerous downpours. We already had reports of deaths and injuries because people drove their cars into areas that were flooded, and we don't want to see any more of that. Let's show you what's going on right now. We've got some estimates of rainfall. And again, the yellow and the orange color showing you anywhere from three to six inches of rain has fallen uh, around western Pennsylvania, Allegheny County in Pennsylvania, and also around the Pennsylvania Mar uh, Maryland border. Adams County, where the city of Gettysburg is, the mayor there has declared a disaster area because of the heavy rains. Here's our upper level low slowly moving eastward. The atmosphere over Pennsylvania, eastern Ohio, very unstable. And wherever you're getting the sunshine right now, it's making it worse. You heat the ground, the air is going to rise. You're creating a more unstable atmosphere. There's a frontal system right through the area as our low tracks eastward. That will be the focusing mechanism for more heavy rains. Right now it's raining in New York, Pennsylvania through Maryland, and some very heavy rainfalls to talk about uh, right in through this area. There's the front. You can see it pretty well in the visible satellite picture. And again, that's where you're getting a little bit of sunshine from uh, Indiana eastward into western Pennsylvania. That's going to make things worse, and we'll expect the showers and thunderstorms to be breaking out across this area later. Eastern Ohio, not a lot of activity even right now around Pittsburgh. But later on, watch out as those showers and thunderstorms are on the increase, maybe dropping anywhere from three to five inches of rain. Our last radar stop takes us into eastern Pennsylvania. Look at the showers and thunderstorms developing around Baltimore and eastward. Uh, we had reports in Frederick County of many roads flooded. 50 people had to evacuate their homes in northern portions of the county. We're talking about heavy rains, folks, and that's why we do have flash flood watches in effect throughout this entire area, the dark green color indicating anywhere from three to five inches of rain, maybe even more in localized areas. So watch out for flash flooding, especially in low-lying areas. Now for more on our tropical system a little bit further to the south, here's Jim. That's right, our tropical system continues to kind of head toward North Carolina and with it, uh, not a major concern as far as the wind fields and whatnot, but surely we have to be concerned about uh, what's going on with this thing, uh, with the rainfall. Interestingly enough, uh, it really isn't the rain associated with the tropical system, but the rain that's developed onto the west of it, which is really causing some of the problems here. 29.68 inches, 1,005 millibars. Looks like the hurricane hunters aren't going to be uh, investigating this uh, anymore in any in time in the near future, so that may be the end of it, unless it decides to fire up on again. But you can just see where the center of circulation is right here east of Wilmington. But off to the west, you notice this bright white. This is where all the thunderstorm and shower activity is. You can clearly see this on the Moorhead City Doppler radar. And I'll tell you one thing. For a, a wimpy storm, look at the gorgeous feeder bands associated with this thing. I mean, this is very, very nice looking with regards to the low-level feeder bands. The good news is it didn't develop rapidly, which it very well could have last night. But you've got to remember, the folks, the air is flowing inward here. And of course, uh, during the evening hours, the air flows outward. And Jim drops his cloud. I've done this about a million times. It's no big deal. Anyway, uh, showers and thunderstorms are firing up over the same areas. So some locally heavy rain southeast of Raleigh on over uh, toward the coastline. So we'll keep an eye on this thing as it continues to head toward the coast. You can see where the heaviest rain has been, not only onshore, but also offshore here with some of these bands and the convection over the Gulf Stream. And they pile up three, four, five, ten inches, twelve inches of rain out there. So uh, nice to see it out here. 
instead of back over the states. That is for sure. As we go ahead and show you the severe thunderstorm outlook, we're keeping an eye on the southeast into Florida. Florida, I tell you, it looks like you could get hit pretty hard today, and I'll show you why in just a second. You can see how things are filling in from Tennessee up through West Virginia. And I'll tell you one thing, if you live in New York City, you need to keep an eye on that stuff that's moving over Trenton right now, because there should be no reason at all why it shouldn't come into either your area over the next couple of hours or so. And then, behind that Philly, there's another area of thunderstorms developing. So it is definitely not over yet. Notice the broad upper level circulation here. Looks like there's a center of upper level low pressure somewhere north of Tampa Bay. And this is usually indicative of some very cold air in the mid-levels. And you know what that means, showers and thunderstorms. So Florida, you are definitely ripe today. And you can see what's been happening here in the last 45 minutes uh, via the loop. Look at the storms lighting up here inland with the sea breeze front just starting to crank here. And some of these uh, may produce some gusty winds. So we need to keep an eye on those. Speaking of gusty winds, just a very nice jet core coming out today into Nebraska. If you are going to chase out and through here, looks like an interesting afternoon shaping up because we are so capped right now, it's not even funny. And what's happening is we're just really destabilizing those low layers. And once that cap breaks, I mean, it's going to be incredible. We could have a big thunderstorm cluster here before the day is done, so we need to keep an eye on it. Let's take a look at your forecast, shall we? Cold front coming on out, that always helps. That'll lift the surface air up through the cap. And once it goes, it's going to really go. So keep an eye on this. Twin Cities, a few showers and thunderstorms. But our mess again with the low-level easterly flow coming in through New Jersey and Pennsylvania and our winds southwest in the lower layers of the atmosphere. We really got a, a terrible situation here where we could get, as Janine said, three, five, maybe even seven inches of rain. So we got to keep an eye on that. Isolated convection down to the south uh, along our trough. And of course, it looks like our storm will start to scoot on out uh, from where it comes over the outer banks through the evening hours of tonight and then just be kind of sucked on out to sea without really uh, too much fanfare. Up to the north, showers and thunderstorms continue. Looks like some more heavy rain. Perhaps tomorrow the axis shifts a little farther to the north. So New York, Binghamton, Albany, the Hudson Valley, even into southern New England, you need to keep an eye on the situation. But tremendous amounts of juice here, folks, so get ready for that. Obviously, temperatures will be cooler because of the rainfall, but to the south of that, it's going to be extremely hot. 90 to 100 degree heat. Ooh, don't even want to look at that stuff. And uh, we'll continue through this right in through the weekend here. So you know where the ridge is. Looks like it's going to build east. So places like Macon, Augusta, Columbia, South Carolina, you're all going to get into some of this too as we work our way into the weekend. So a good excuse for the pool or the lake. Yeah. Rain, some of it uh, very heavy again on Friday. Our cold front will swing across the Great Lakes and just kind of get hung up here a little bit. There'll be a new wave developing, and that'll drop in again to the upper Midwest. It'll kick the first wave into New England, so now we've got this big ridge and a front which is just gelling to the north of that ridge. Looks like it'll get a little southward shift on Monday, so at least that'll give the upper Midwest a break, and down to the south, uh, showers and thunderstorms pushing through the Mid-South and on in toward New England. So, oof, lots of wet weather here coming up over the next several days, which could uh, very well be the case uh, once again as we get into next week, Janine. All right, Jim, what do we have coming up next, buddy? We have international weather, and we'll take you over to Europe to see if there's any flood problems over there. I don't think there are right now. Are well, there? then I guess we don't have to worry about that. Okay, that's good. That is very good. We'll <laughs> take right. you there anyway. Okay, stay with us.